We're inside the UNA Volleyball locker room catching up with UNA head volleyball coach Bob White. The UNA volleyball team wrapped up the non-conference portion of their schedule with the Memphis Tiger Invitational, taking on the host school, Memphis, Tennessee Tech, and Louisiana Monroe. And coach, I know it was three tough losses, but the non-conference slate of the season comes to a close. What were your takeaways? Well, first of all, let me say I'm excited to be with you in, in this locker room. This is something that we waited all summer, and we think it really is a – added benefit to our program but um, you know this weekend was really um, a lot about us um, seeing uh, our lack of depth really um, at, at this moment in time now if we can get some key players back we had three projected starters not with us this weekend uh, an opposite uh, a, a, a girl that can play both pins opposite and then our starting OH basically OH1 and all three of them are out we hope to get one of them back this weekend and I think that'll help a lot. We're just not deep enough, um, and we're a couple you know, recruiting cycles away from getting where we want to be. But I still felt like we were competitive. You know, nobody blew us out. Uh, the girls tried and worked as hard as they could. This team really believes in itself. There's some moments of unbelief there, I think, that, that we experienced for the first time. But those are good things that we have to work through, and they have to recognize the reality of our situation. And there's going to be some highs and lows you know, this year. And, and we're working towards the future of having more highs than lows. You know, that's kind of where we are. And so um, we saw a lot of good things in Chattanooga. And then this, this week was just a little, I think the teams were a little better. and. Um, we weren't just we weren't quite as healthy, and we didn't have that depth. So, um, but we've used this as a preseason, and I think we've really figured out who can do what for us. And now, if we can get everybody healthy, you know, we'll, we'll be good, and I think we'll be able to be, be competitive. All right, coach. So you guys have an off week now. Nothing going on this weekend. Uh, you play Tuesday at Lipscomb. Almost ten days in between matches. So in this downtime, uh, what are you guys working on to get ready for a sun play that's quickly approaching? Well, we're counting on our athletic trainers to get our our injured players back. I think that's an important piece of it. Um, we knew we'd probably have injuries, and we didn't know we'd have as many with three three key injuries right now. And uh, they're doing a the great job, and, I, and that's hopeful. But we're working on those pieces that um, we struggled at. You know, we're um, with the loss of some of those key players. We have to we have to move forward, not knowing if they're going to be back, and figuring out how to how to do some how to do some things a little bit differently than what we did. We we knew there were some things offensively we could do differently, but you, you have to come back and practice that. You know, I think our offensive numbers are really low right now, and that and that's just uh, that continuity of of having played so many different players. We I don't think we've gone into one match yet where we had the same lineup, and that's just because of injuries, and then just trying to figure out who, who to put out there at the right time. So, you know, I think we're, we're we're pretty clear if we get everybody back where we want to go with this with it moving forward, and so just working on that, working on really those. What we saw is our holes, and then um, and then trying to strengthen what's our strengths. You know, um, there's certain areas that we're going to have to be really good at in order to compete, and uh, we'll keep working at that. And the other areas, it may be a recruiting cycle or two away before we can really be where we want to be, but that doesn't mean we're going to going to try to be the best we can be. All right, Coach, the year of first continues. It's the first A-Sun match in school history on Tuesday with Lipscomb. Lipscomb features a player who's won player of the year back-to-back -back years. Yeah. They were picked third in the conference. Uh, it's going to be a great way to open up the A-Sun era. How tough will this match be? Well, I think they were picked low. I, I really think that they have a chance to be number one. Um, looking at uh, their schedule and this preseason and the other uh, the other two teams were picked one and two, Florida Gulf Coast. And Kennesaw, um, they, they played a very rigorous uh, preseason. They did really, really well. They have almost all their returners back. They have the player of the year. You know, I think the consensus, even talking to coaches that are in that conference, says, hey, this is real. Lipscomb could be the, the team, the best team. So um, you get to start out with the best, so you kind of get a real good measure and stick of where you are. Um, you know, it gives us some time, having this time off to really study them as best as we can and try to match up as best we can. But we're anxious to get started in that conference. You know, it's you got to start and it's time for us. You know, I think we've played, we've been gone for three weeks, you know, and we'll be gone one more time and then finally get to come back home and play here at home. And um, that'll be good for us too. Coach, thank you for the time. Oh, thank you. It's always a pleasure.